Okay, we're looking at the SPX, and once again, this is for educational purposes only. Uh, please do your own due diligence. Uh, again, we had a very interesting day today. We had this three candlestick pattern, which can be interpreted as like an island reversal or abandoned baby. Um, it, it was a very impressive bearish day today, and it was done on significant volume as you can see right here. Well, it's not quite a surprise to me because everybody, I think, that it follows the market and is a technical analyst uh, has been calling for a reversal because of the overbought situation. But today actually was a fundamental event that, uh, that drove it down, just as I had mentioned in the uh, Dow Jones Industrial uh, Analysis, and that was the Goldman Sachs situation today. So again, where's it going to go on the SPX? I would uh, target probably 1180 down here to this swing high, which actually is an extension of this little shelf here at about 1150. We have this swing low about 1090. This is at 1044 here. Then we have this channel from back in November and December, which could act as support as well. And then we have the swing low at about 1030. Again, the stochastics is not really indicating too much other than there was a crossover, which one would expect on such a bearish day, but it didn't cross below the overbought line of um, 80. And the MACD is flat right now, and so is the histogram. I mentioned um, in a class, uh, actually last night, with our group of our market tamer that I had noticed that the uh, VIX futures were trading uh, quite a bit higher into the summertime, I think up to 23 or 24, which is further indication that uh, the trading community is thinking that uh, the VIX is going to uh, spike higher, which means that the, that would indicate that the market is going lower. So that is just further confirmation of the fact that we feel that the uh, market is probably coming down. Uh, this arrow here indicates uh, some support back from 2005 and 2006 where the market was fairly flat. There's also a couple Fibonacci levels just at this level as well for further confirmation that this should be somewhat of a pullback. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Comp Q.